Hey, hey, welcome to Wednesday Wisdom. I am feeling a little kooky today. I'm wearing my kooky shirt and I just wanted to throw that out there in case I give you some weird examples of things today that just don't seem to fit. (laughs) You know, when you're in those moods, I'm in one of those moods. Okay. So I wanted to talk about something that today um, I don't do, but I did a lot when I was starting out and that is belittling your blog or your business or whatever it is that you do. I have a feeling that I'm not the only one that who has done this. I think that it's very common, especially among people who are new to business, who are not necessarily trained in business, who are, you know, just sort of dipping our toe in and, and seeing what happens. And I, you know, when I first started my blog, I was really unsure of myself. I had had a business before that, which you have probably heard the story, which was an epic failure, like epic, lost money, lost time, lost confidence, lost, 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 lost. It was a huge flop. And I was really embarrassed to say I'd started something new. And I would even like, you know, I started my blog as a last ditch effort to keep that business going. But when I discovered I liked blogging, it actually provided me a little bit of cover. Cause I was like, I like this so much better. I'm just going to stop doing that other thing. So it, you know, I had a little bit of cover. It wasn't even like I had this business that, it, that was just like publicly failed. Um, I, I just still felt embarrassed because I knew what had happened. I knew I was a failure at that business, or I should say that business was, um, just not a good fit for me in any way, like red flags all over the place, but I digress. So I was embarrassed and I was unsure of myself and I didn't want to put myself out there saying that I was going to be doing this new thing because, uh, I didn't know if it was going to be successful. So What I did, and I think a lot of people do this, is I downplayed it, right? When somebody asked me about my blog, I'd be like, oh yeah, it's just this little blog I started. I talk about mom stuff and it's no big deal. And even though I was working my ass off, I was working really hard and I loved it. I loved spending time on my blog. I loved learning about blogging. I loved, you know, the, I even liked the tech stuff of it, like back in the day, was a little bit more challenging than it was, than it is now. Um, I liked learning about coding. I liked learning about that sort of thing. And I've, that was great for me, but I didn't want to make like, it was a big deal because I felt like as soon as I made an announcement that I was starting this business because I wanted to make more money and maybe, you know, do some extra things with that, you know, pay things off or retire early or any of those things as soon as I made that announcement, people would start asking me about the money. And I didn't want to, I didn't, I didn't want to, because I knew it was going to be a long time before I was really making decent money. So I downplayed it and I would say, oh yeah, the, you know, it's just this thing I'm doing on the side. It's no big deal. And I would kind of change the conversation. If my husband asked me to do something and I had like scheduled time for myself to work on my blog, I would say, oh, you know, okay, that's no big deal. I was going to work on my blog, but whatever, it's no biggie. Um, you know, even he picked up on how I was referring to things and he would talk about my little blog. Oh, are you going to work on your little blog today? And he had, he didn't mean it to be insulting or derogatory. He was picking up on what I was putting out there. I was being derogatory towards my own blog. And what happens is when you do this is that it's self-fulfilling. If you don't give your blog the respect you want it to get, it's not going to get it from somebody else. (laughs) That's just stupid, right? Like if you, if you have, um, uh, oh, oh, this is a great example. I told you I was in a mood, right? If you live in a neighborhood that has really clean streets, right? If you live in a place where all the streets are clean and if it, if there's like a piece of trash that's left on the neighborhood lawn after trash day, someone in the neighborhood, even if it's not the homeowner, someone in the neighborhood is going to pick that piece of trash up because it sticks out like a sore thumb. Right. But if you live in a neighborhood that has trash all over it and somebody drops another piece of trash, nobody's going to pick it up. Right. That's the respect that I'm talking about. The respect for your, for your work and your time and your environment and your energy And if you don't have that respect, I know that's kind of a convoluted metaphor, but it just came to me. Um, If you don't have that respect for your blog, 
right? If, if you're still calling it a little blog, if you're still calling it this, oh, this whatever thing, not big deal that I'm doing on the side, then you can't expect anybody else to take it seriously either. And if nobody takes it seriously, then you're not going to make money. And if you're not making money, then you keep calling it this little blog because you're trying to downplay the fact that it's not making money and you're embarrassed about it. And it's this like vicious cycle that just keeps going around and around and around where you keep downplaying it and other people don't take it seriously. So it doesn't get the respect it deserves. So therefore you keep downplaying it. So what I want you to do is I want you to start thinking about the words that you use to talk about your business and how you talk about your business, the language, the body language, the intention, the energy behind it, right? If you're really excited about something, get excited about it and say, oh my gosh, I made this amazing post. And I got this comment on it that was really like spot on. Like I, I felt like that person really understood what I was saying. Even if it's one comment, who cares? You're excited about it be excited by your blog, be excited by the work that you're putting in, by the growth that you're seeing, by the, by the number of people that you're helping. Like that's a really cool thing and stop belittling your hard work and your blog and your dreams. Like, let's face it. If you're starting a blog to make money, you're not starting a blog to make money just because huh, huh, it's nice to have extra money to roll around in a cash pile on the bed. Like that's not what teachers are doing with their money. We're using our money. I use my blog money to pay off my student loans. We bought our cars with cash. We are, you know, we switched to a 15 year mortgage so we can pay our house off sooner. I, you know, I'm on a track for early retirement at this point because I have really high expectations for my income. I don't want it to just exceed my teaching income, which in Connecticut is a really decent income. I want it to double it. That's my goal to retire. So, but that's, that's in the forecast is being able to retire early. So if I want those things, I need to give the energy to those things that are going to make them happy, you know, that are going to make them happen, <laughs> not just happy, going to make them happen. If I'm downplaying, if I'm just saying, oh, this thing, you know, that I do on the side, whatever I work on it after my daughter goes to bed and. And you know, it's fine. It's cool. At the time I was getting up early in the morning to work on my blog. I was working on it after school. I was working on it after my daughter went to bed. Like I was working my ass off. And at the same time, it was like, I was talking out of two sides of my mouth out of one side of my mouth. I was saying, Oh my God, this is amazing. And I love this. And on the other side that the, the side that people could hear, I was saying, Oh, it's no big deal. It's just this thing. Like, I'm not really expecting anything like no big deal. That energy seeps into what you're doing. It seeps into what your audience feels. It seeps into, you know, what comes across on the screen when they're reading it, it comes across to your friends and family who are trying to support you. And it, it all gets mixed up. And basically if you are a woo woo person or not a woo woo person, I'm just going to say this anyway, I believe that the energy we put out into the world is the energy that comes back to us. And that if we want positive energy to come back to us. And if we want the things that we are dreaming of to happen, we have to tell the universe. We have to be clear about what we want. We have to be clear about what we think we deserve. We have to be clear about, you know, uh, what we want our lives to look like. And if we are doing two things at the same time, we are not being clear. The universe does not understand that over here, I'm saying to myself that I really want this blog to work and I really want it to be successful. And I really want to pay for my next car in cash, or I really want to be able to send my kid to college without any loans, or I really want to buy a vacation house, or I really want to get a boat or whatever it is. They don't understand that this voice over here and this voice over here, they're coming from the same person. And if they're saying completely different things, the universe does not understand that. That is very, it's very negating, like you're, you're negating the energy that you are putting into your work. So I mentioned this because this is a very common thing. I hear a lot, a lot, a lot, and it's not just bloggers. It's every teacher business out there. I see people downplaying their work and downplaying their effort and saying, well, you know, whatever, when you really need to be saying, I'm going for it. 
And you don't have to tell people who aren't going to be supportive. If there are people who aren't going to be supportive, you can be like, yeah, okay, I've got this blog. Yeah, it's great. I love it. End of conversation. You don't have to tell them all of your dreams and goals. You know, just acknowledge that you have this thing. Say, it's great. I'm enjoying it and move on. You change the conversation, ask them something about themselves. People love to talk about themselves. (laughs) So when you are in this space, I want you to remember mindset matters. What you say matters. What you say to yourself and what you say to other people should be congruent with each other. They should match. That energy should match so that what you get back matches what you want. So that is my words of wisdom for today. I know I'm a little me today, so (laughs) bear with me. (laughs) It's just one of those days, but I hope that helps. I hope you find some, some inspiration in that, in that idea of it's okay to be excited about your blog. Even if this is not your first business idea, even if it's not your fifth business idea, it's okay to be excited about it. You can be a person who gets excited by things. People actually like people who get excited about things. People who are downers are boring. So get excited. Tell people you're excited. Ask them to support you. Ask them to to send out good vibrations to the universe or whatever you want them to do. If you want them to just say, you know, great. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Great. I hope you have fantastic success. Great. I'm glad you found something that you love. Then tell them that. And people will do it because they love you and they want to support you. And if they don't just either block them or just whatever, just change the subject. (laughs) All right. That is it for wisdom Wednesday. I will see you guys next time.